hey guys, today I'm gonna take this raw file right here and I'm gonna turn it into a picture like this in just about 5 minutes using Lightroom and the MacFun Luminar plugin at the end which is sponsoring this video today. Now first of all I'm gonna raise the shadows, bring down the highlights, of course add a little bit more warmth in the color temperature. Contrast is definitely needed, a bit of plus white to add that dynamic and also bring down the blacks. That already looks pretty good, maybe a bit of clarity, tonal curve just won't exaggerate, especially these medium bright tones and bring down some of the dark tones. Also I want to go into the split toning, here I want to go to the highlights and add quite a bit of warmth. Uh, nothing super crazy though, something like that and go into the shadows real quick to add some blues. Maybe even a darker blue or additional differentiation and adding interest. Lens corrections definitely want to enable those real quick, make sure there's no distortion and also I think I'm gonna crop this picture because there's so much sky that is just not needed and also the foreground is a hint too much. I actually like to have a bit of negative space in the foreground but I think yeah the sky definitely doesn't need as much. So let's see how it looks. Much much better, much more focused on the actual mountain with this more panoramic aspect ratio but now I'm gonna take this into Luminar. So I'm just gonna edit in Luminar and what Luminar is is actually a plugin for Lightroom. Yes I would like to edit a copy with all of the Lightroom adjustments and with it you really have a lot more options than you have in Lightroom and some awesome sliders, you have layers and you know of course I'm gonna say they're awesome because they are sponsoring this video but honestly I really think they have a lot of adjustments that are quite awesome and Lightroom just doesn't offer. Let's just jump right into Luminar and you can decide for yourself. So this is the picture after all of the adjustments in Lightroom and first thing I want to do here is definitely boost everything that's a lot of dynamic. Also bring up the whites, down some of the highlights, bring up some of the shadows, a smart tone to the left actually and then go also into the minus contrast. Furthermore, I think I'm gonna have to go into the minus saturation for the overall picture and definitely make it more warm. And with it, I wanna mix a little bit of magenta in the tint. Let's go down here to the image radiance because there are really so many textures here that I wanna decrease them by a little bit in a smart way. Down into the top and bottom lighting. Here you can just make your top darker or brighter and your bottom also darker or brighter, also set your orientation and one of my favorite things here is the vignetting. Now vignetting itself you can of course also do in Lightroom, let me just show you right here what is actually unique about it. I'm gonna bring this amount to quite a lot of minus here, make sure I have a very soft feather, I have the center point quite towards the middle. So now what I actually really like about this is that I can bring up the inner brightness, so we'll just make the inner side a little bit brighter, create differentiation and interest. The other really awesome thing is that I can place the center. If I just go to the mountain, it will set the whole vignetting around the mountain and will just look a lot more natural and yeah, just much better. This is definitely one of my favorites by far. Just to show you real quick from before any adjustments here in Luminar to afterwards, but I do want to work with some of these layers as well because you can just add a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to do some very very heavy adjustments such as going to minus exposure plus contrast, go a little bit into the minus highlights here, go into the image radiance and add quite a bit as well. I'm even gonna mix that with a bit of minus saturation and with a little bit of warm tones. Now this looks absolutely terrible for the entire picture but I just want to use it in a graduated filter for the top left right here. Maybe I will just go back on this actual color temperature but let's actually create even a another layer, go into the plus exposure, plus shadows, plus whites especially, for the dodge and burning. Now usually you just do that in a filter and then add it to the picture, but here you can actually add it to the entire picture, go into the actual adjustment brush and then just add it over the areas that you want to be selected. The opacity here just for the mountain peaks and I think that looks pretty good. There's really not too much opportunity for dodge and burning, but at least a little bit works quite well. As another thing, I'm gonna grab another layer here, go 
into landscape to have all of the options because I do want to have quite a bit of saturation at least in the bottom of the entire picture. I actually kind of like if the top has very low saturation but again just the bottom I usually want to have quite a lot of it. So let's just add that in a graduated filter that looks a lot better maybe a bit warmer. So let's just keep it right there add another adjustment layer again. It's really going to be the last one in Luminar. I do want to get rid of that weird like warm tone in the top of the sky by bringing down the saturation color temperature towards the blues and just adding adjustment brush for it and brushing over the top right here. That looks pretty good. So let's just check before any adjustments in Luminar and afterwards. It's definitely up to you to decide but personally I think some of these sliders and especially the layers are quite cool. So let's just jump back into Lightroom which is luckily saved already automatically and do some color noise reduction because you can see there was a little bit of well quite a bit of color noise from the very heavy editing and I'm also going to bring the smoothness quite a bit to the right maybe even a tiny bit of noise reduction but yeah with that you know what let's actually bring up the overall saturation by a tiny bit into the HSL tool real quick this is really just kind of some final touches go into the actual saturation of the blues and bring them down just slightly. So with that being said I think I'm done here with this picture. Now this is the raw file just in comparison before any editing in Lightroom or Luminar and this is the picture at the end. So thank you very much for watching. I know this has been very quick, very fast, but hopefully you still found it helpful and interesting. Now a link to the Luminar plugin, again they're sponsoring this video, but I really think that they're, you know, at least it's worth to check out. If you click the link in the video description, you will get a 14 day free trial, I believe. But thank you very much for watching and keep editing awesome pictures.